What is up? This is Colonial Puppet. This is part 44 of the Let's Build a Stadium series. 44 episodes. Holy crap. Uh, we're going to start on... We're going to skip these two floors and go straight to the top right here and work on uh, this floor. We're on the short end of the field, as you can see. Um, and I'm going to try command here. Let's see if it works. Give effect at a Minecraft night vision. True. Let's see if this works. Give. Effect. Maybe. There it is. Okay. We got it. Awesome. So now I have night vision. Thank you once again, Slago Horus Rex. I love that name, by the way. Um, got it working. So that was just a command to give me night vision, so I don't have to dedicate an entire spot on my inventory for it. Um, let's get right into this. Starting with, um, first of all, let's see. Okay, so we can get rid of that. I think I'm going to select here and go all the way down. What is that? There's a big old hole in the in the thing. What happened here? Oh, that's right. We haven't really done this yet. All right. So let's select this. Set 251. I think it's 9. No. Set 251. 8. There it is. So this is going to be interesting. Um, select this. I have to travel all the way back down here. Do do select this, select that, and hopefully I did this right. Hopefully, did not do it right. Okay, Undo. good. Okay, don't want that to happen. Holy shit. Alright, so I'm going to make sure I do this right. Whoa. If you don't know what I'm trying to do, I don't blame you. So we're going to start right here. I'm going to make sure I'm on the same plane. Travel all the way down here. Alright. Oh, wait. There we go. No. Come on. For the love of God, please work. Fuck. Sorry, guys. This is annoying as hell trying to get this to line up, but it keeps effing up. Alright, so select this. Travel all the way down. Making sure I'm not crossing over into another lane. I'm trying to fill just one block of space. And it should line up perfectly with yeah, okay. So. Okay. So that should have worked. Let's see. Yes. Okay, great. So we are Gucci, I think. Now, 
the next thing to do is um, fill first we gotta fill this up that in fill that in not too worried about uh, getting it all filled in correctly there we go same thing over here There we go. All right. We don't need these. And we don't need this. Alrighty. Next, we are going to. Well, we're not going to worry about the doors just yet. I want to fill in the um, the roof first. It's going to be kind of annoying because of how curved this room is. But we will manage. All right, so to find a space I can fill. out the way I wanted to. Need to do this one. Followed by this one. Set two fifty no not two fifty one. Uh, one dash six. There we go. That should fill in all that. So the game's having a little trouble, but that's okay. All right, we'll let that think for a little bit. Fill in this area. Like so. random point and go from there I think be our best bet like that and fill in the gaps like this it's probably one of my least favorite things Doing, uh, to do on uh, the stadium is dealing with the curved nature of it. I think I've been pretty vocal about how I feel about curved buildings in Minecraft. Like sometimes it could be pulled off very well and effectively, but other times it's just like. I don't know. Sometimes I'd prefer to let the. Uh, the blocky nature of Minecraft kind of dictate the form of things, even if that means just a bunch of really uh, square, oof, voice crack, square blocky buildings. But it's a stadium, so what are you going to do? Same with like building that airport. Like the terminal and whatnot, usually those are pretty. Although there have been, there's some cool looking uh, square terminals or angular terminals, that is, I guess. Kind of want to do this. 
this. Fill all that in. Now for this part. This is like the main part. Fill all that in. Awesome. Same there. It's it's better with like these kind of longer areas. It's not as tedious as when you get to the to the corners where it really starts to uh, curve inward. It's like I actually feel feel like I'm filling in a an actual space rather than just kind of like doing whatever. Then I'll just do this. All right, and now we can fill in this area. So this is kind of annoying, so I'm going to do this. Travel all the way down here. Set zero. Clear that out of the way. I know there's a clear function, but I think I tried it on here, and it didn't really work out. Give me like an error. or didn't do what I wanted it to. Or both, I don't know. So last, I'll just use the uh, set air function. Does the same thing. Oh wait, that's right. I didn't have to undo that. I could have just did set one dash six. Not a very good typer. <laughs> and I apologize to everyone on Windows 10, Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, I guess. I lost track of all the platforms that Minecraft is on right now. I'm assuming all of them. If it's on your mobile phone, it should pre be pretty much on everything. Except maybe like the Wii. I assume it's on the Switch. If anyone has a Switch, let's let me know if Minecraft has been ported over. I'd love to know. Be in the know. Alrighty. So we got that roofs all done. Now we can worry about getting these looking all fancy. So same thing that we did the other floors. Just kind of doing this. And these rooms are going to be a little bit bigger just because the surface area. Or like the floor space is a lot less so what we lack in floor space will uh, gain back in just plain old uh, size the size of the rooms so 
to be less rooms, but they'll be big. Just as big, if not bigger, than the ones that we've been making. All right, let me just put the trim on. I'm not really going to worry about the trim on the window side, like here, like doing that. Since it's nothing but, it, it worked when we still had like that brick area, but now that it's nothing but window, we're just not going to put trim on this side. Wouldn't really make too much sense. Oh man, I'm thinking of having to do the floor or the ceiling on the long ends of the field. If I thought the dealing with the curve of the short end of the field is bad, the long end of the field is going to be four times as worse. All right, so we've got that taken care of. Next, what we're going to do is uh, carve out the doors. Same as we've always been doing, just that. Followed by that. This can be a pretty narrow hallway, but that's okay. Now I'm going to create a wall. So, create a doorway on either side. trim and then let's build a wall off of here oh wait no not there here sorry like that. Same thing here. So got those openings. Let's do the trim and just have it end there. Just like that. Alright, so we got this room is complete minus the lighting, which we're gonna do later. Now we're gonna worry about how to um, wall this off. So I think what I'm gonna do is this. Select that. See where this takes us. Let's take it to this one. And 
then set that and then set that. So this will be left open like so. Same thing on the opposite side. Oh wait, before I keep going. Got to do this trim. Cool. If we want to be fancy, we can do this. Oh my god, I can't place quartz for the life of me. There we go. Do something like that at the end. There we go. It's so annoying to lay so many blocks at once in this game. All right, so before we get too ahead of ourselves here, let's go back, do the same thing on this side. So select that. So I forget which one we did it on. Let's see. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So it would leave six windows showing. So one, two, three, four, oof, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this one right here. I think that's how we did it. Yeah, that looks about right. Same thing, let's do this. And I got a button mash to do this. Try, try and keep myself going the perfect speed, which I'm not going to do. I think I made a mistake over here. I don't think I put in the chiseled quartz. So I think I just let it Oh no, I did. Okay. All right, so next we're gonna separate these rooms. All right, I did that. All right, so how many windows do we have? One, two, three. I'm not gonna count those. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. So ten. So one, two, three, four, five. Don't count that. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there's this. All right. Go. 
same thing over here. So same deal. One, two, three, four, five. So this one, I burped. Excuse me. Do that. Let's break in here. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I just go in and do doors so you kind of get the idea of how we've been doing this it's a lot of doors a lot of quartz a lot of lights I haven't started the lights yet but we're gonna get get that finished this episode don't worry I will make sure of it Then the doors themselves. Oops. <sighs> this game thinks this is a cave, it's so huge. Or like a giant, like whatever, gorge. So it keeps making the spooky cave noises. So next what we're going to do is just the um, trim on the ceiling, which is so much fun to do. And this room as well. like that and then can't forget over here and we'll travel over here Doo -doo -doo. and uh, I decided to switch to my mechanical keyboard so I apologize if that's annoying to some people um, I might switch it out with a I went to Goodwill recently and I found wasn't really expecting on getting anything because usually the, it's not a very good goodwill. <laughs> it's, it's a bad will. Um, and usually don't, they don't really have a good selection of anything. And I picked up what I thought was kind of like a cheap, uh, just like made in China, like rubber dome keyboard. And I clicked it and I, I pressed down on the key and it was a very nice mechanical feel and I looked down and it was a it was just like a mechanical keyboard sitting there for it was like four bucks I got it really nice switches too um, the only issue is the tab button is broken but I mean you just replace the switch honestly um, so yeah I was really stoked to find that I uh, bought it. I, at first I was worried because I looked down and I saw there was a PS2 port and thought it was a PS2 keyboard, which like you can get a PS2 to USB, I'm pretty sure. But then I realized it was just an adapter and then it was an, a USB mechanical keyboard. So I was pretty happy about that. I haven't tested it out yet. I'll, I'll have to do that. It's kind of hard testing it out because um, I really kind of organized my computer desk and all of my USB devices are going into a USB hub that's like not bolted down but like adhesived down to the, um, the uh, 
desk itself. And so all my USB devices are going into that. And they're all being fed to my computer through one USB port, so it's just easy to unplug and take with me wherever I need to. Although I'm a little worried, I don't I've never really heard anything about it, but I I guess it would it would be possible to overload a USB port. If anybody knows anything about that, let me know. Are USB hubs safe to use on a computer? If you have like five things plugged in at once. Mouse, keyboard, uh, microphone, all going into one USB port on your computer. Will that fry it over time or is that safe? That's what I want to know. All right, so we're going to do this. This is the center. We're going to count three. So let's get some sea lantern up in here. We're going to do this. We're going to have them running vertical instead of horizontal now. So we're switching it up. So there's still going to be two block wide lights. They're just going to be oriented 90 degrees. As opposed to the way we've been doing them. Oops. All the way down. So much fun. We're over halfway done. You know, this is the most exciting thing to watch. It'll probably be easier to do it like this, actually. We'll see how close this gets us. Pretty close. Now, in this open area, we can extend these back to like here. Something like that. Same thing on the opposite side. Just like that. Cool. Now we're going to deal with the center room and then we'll do the uh, two rooms on the right. Then I'll do the same thing I did last episode. Alright, cut it so you don't have to watch me. Um, do the same thing twice. like hypnotizing to do, honestly. It's definitely more therapeutic to uh, build on the Xbox just because you could kind of, there's no MC edit or anything, so you're kind of in this trance the whole time you're building. You just put on music or like a podcast and kind of zone out while you 
replace black by black. Obviously that doesn't really fly now. I can't really justify doing that. Back in like middle and high school I could kind of justify spending my time doing that, but no, it's a little that would be a little silly. Just kinda wanna light that one area, so I'm gonna put that odd light right there. So that's that room. This room. Honestly, I don't think I'm gonna. I think I'll do the other room twice, just in case. Uh, I missed anything. Actually, I don't want that like that. There. I guess I'll just do this. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'll just, this is probably confusing. It, it won't hurt to do it twice. It's not that much room either. So again, just starting from the corner. chilling over here in the corner. Same thing over here. We're able to fit one in. Oops, did not mean to go that far up. So that's pretty much it for this floor. We're gonna leave this kind of be like an open area, for people to stand in. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do what we spent this entire episode doing, just mirrored on the opposite side. So I will see you when I'm done. That. All right, I'm back. Just loaded up the game because why not? I haven't moved since we cut because I used MC Edit to. Take what we did this episode and mirror it over on the other side. Let's see how that looks. Should look pretty good. Everything looked like it lined up perfectly. I love flying over the stadium. Two years. Two years of work. So I was uh, kind of playing with the idea of curving these corners to make it a little more, a little better, but. That'll be down the road. Maybe I'll do a um, stadium redesign. Let's play, or let's build. It'll just be working with the corners of it. But as you can see, if you look on the inside, got all the walls and the spaces that we made on the opposite end is now mirrored over here as well. It's pretty great, looks good, everything looks like it lined up perfectly. And yeah, that's going to be it for this episode of Let's Build a Stadium 44. Um, next, obviously, we have this whole long end of the field to deal with, then it's just the floor underneath. So I'm giving it another couple episodes and then we'll be done. So can't forget the end goals, or end field. Oh my god, what are they called? Yeah, the end goals, right? Building a stadium, and I don't even know the proper names for the parts of it. Alright, it's looking pretty great. This has been Colonial Puppet. Be sure to check out the next episode when it comes out. In the previous, uh, previous episodes, uh, if you'd like to follow along. And yep, have a nice day.